Hi YouTube, it's uh, Stephen Dixon from Native Plates Bushcraft yet again. Uh, just as I've just been on doing my little Crusader modification just to redo and show you again. I thought I might as well show you this because I've been wanting to get this done for ages and the weather's just been so crap. Uh, we seem to be stuck in for a lot. I was, was hoping to get it done when we were at Brockwell last week but failing that it was impossible. But anyway, here is what we all know as the hobo stove and it's just there uh, you just have to haven't you you've got to you've got to try one you've got to do it you've got to give it a go well this one i've done i've had, actually had it out once and i'm quite impressed with how how it works i actually used the trendy burner in this but um it's absolutely fantastic for it is i say the way i've cut that out it's very smooth it's not going to cut you hiding in any uh, pine cones, anything like that. If you get a look inside there, I don't know if you're going to pick this up, yes you are. I've put a little mesh grill from an old, one of them old disposable barbecues and I've just raised it up a little bit and that's quite good. It lifted the burner up, it also gives it a bit of air to breathe when you're hiding any bit of wood in, any, any like you say, your pine cones, your wood, you're burning your wood, whatever. Uh, you can actually stick a tray in, obviously use your green heat, your hexi, multiple choice. And the only disappointing thing I had with it was the fact that it's exactly the same size as your 12mm zebra billing. Although it will stand, but would you risk it? I certainly wouldn't. So that was the only disappointing thing regarding it. However, once you get everything sorted out, I've actually I've had them for a while and I didn't really want to use them because I like them. But <laughs> used to have my tea in there. But uh, I've got a new set. But there you go. I've redone the lid, did have a steel. Steel, like little thumb handle to lift off. I've replaced that with that one. Obviously you can hang it, you can pick it up with a stick if it's too hot, whichever. It's just a bit of green heat gel. I've actually drilled a couple of holes in the side for a little handle. You can actually use that as your billy. This is 10 centimetres. And it fits in this spot on. Absolutely spot on. Oh, I dare like to say it's probably 11. I've not measured it, but who cares? Who's counting there? Eh? Who's counting? Well, there you go. <coughs> I see, I've been trying to do a video on this for quite some time, but obviously, we're not being able to. Don't know when we'll get out again. Hoping it's soon, weather permitting. Well, who cares? Let's just get out and do it, yeah? You are protected. You know how much stuff we've got to protect us from the wind. And the elements but let's just get out there and do it but um there it is my little uh, little hobo i like to uh, get stuck in and show you how it's going on like but next time i'm out i'm going to take it and i want to do that i'll put it on and i may just add it at the end of this or i may just put this one on now and do it at a later date but let's say if you've got a smaller zebra you're ideal see it won't fit but now it's no matter but anyway there you go just thought I'd like to share that with you all but uh, it's good I like these a good nifty little idea whoever well, came up with that I like to shake his hand well anyway that's me done again um, I'll try and get this one on shame I kind of show you it but in action you know what I mean but uh, I actually use it, like I say, I used it with the trangie and it, um, good God, it only took a couple of minutes to boil. I'd say about half, half that of water. So it doesn't take long. But, one day, I will show you. But anyway, that's all for me now. Um, I'll catch you, I hope you've enjoyed, uh, enjoyed it. And like I say, with any luck, I'll get to show you the, the whole thing in action. Well, that's me done again, and I'll catch you soon, and see you all in a bit. Thanks now.